Welcome back. So today we're working through the eigenfaces example of how to use the singular value decomposition to decompose a very high dimensional data set composed of human faces into a lower dimensional uh, representation in terms of eigenfaces. So in the last video, I showed you how to load this Yale faces database, uh, th these images. So we have 36 people and a bunch of images, 64 images for each of those people under different lighting conditions. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this massive data matrix and we're going to compute the singular value decomposition of it. So remember, every single column of x, every single column vector of x is a human face that has been reshaped into a 32,000 dimensional column vector. And what's neat about the SVD is that the columns of u have exactly the same size as the columns of x. And so if I reshape u1, U1 is a tall 32,000 dimensional column vector. I can reshape it into something that has the shape of a face. And this is what we're going to call our eigenfaces. Okay, are going to be the columns of U. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is actually very, very simple. We loaded the data um, from allfaces.mat. So we're going to load this data. Um, we're going to load in all of our training faces. There are actually 38 individuals. We're only going to use the first 36 to build this model because we want to see how it works on the other two that we didn't train on. Uh, and again, we're going to compute the average face. We're going to take the average of all of the columns of x, the average face, and subtract it out. And then we're going to compute the SVD. So here's where we subtracted out the average face, and we had to multiply it by a vector of ones uh, to subtract it from every column. And then we compute this economy-sized SVD of x. Remember, we want the economy-sized SVD because I don't want a 32,000 by 32,000 U matrix. I only want the first, um, the first 2,410 uh, 2, columns corresponding to the non-zero singular values. Okay, So we're going to compute this SVD. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the average face for you. And then I'm going to build a big matrix of my eigenfaces. And we're going to see the first 64 eigenfaces plotted uh, from this SVD. Okay, Pretty simple. But all of the work is going in in this line 11 here where we actually compute the SVD. So loading the data, computing the average face, and subtracting it off, that's all pretty easy. And the SVD, all of the eigen decomposition is happening in line 11. So let's run this and see what we get. It takes a little while to load all the data and compute the SVD. Uh, just a couple seconds. Good. Okay, it's evaluating the current uh, the current code. I mean, this is a pretty big matrix, thirty-two thousand uh, by by twenty-four hundred. And I'm going to make this much, much, much bigger so you can actually see all of these eigenfaces. OK, so these are the first 64 eigenfaces. What I've done is I've taken the first 64 columns of my U matrix. Each of those columns I've reshaped into an image, a two, an array that looks like the shape of a face. So this 32,000 vector gets reshaped into an image. And then what I've done is I've plotted those images along the rows of this big, big matrix. OK, it's just a cool way to plot it. And so what you see here are your first, second, third, fourth eigenfaces, all the way down to your 64th eigenface down there. And there's more. There are as many eigenfaces as there are columns of data. So there's 2,410 of these eigenfaces. I'm just plotting the first, uh, the first few. And you can see, actually, there's some really interesting structures that, that pop out immediately. So the first couple of eigenfaces are like these kind of creepy, ghosty, uh, average blobs. It's just the things everybody has in common, right? Everybody has eyes, nose, and a mouth. We're kind of all ovals with ovals and, you know, ovals and stuff like that. Uh, and then what you start to see is the higher, uh, the higher singular vectors or eigenfaces, these are left singular vectors, start to capture different information like shadows, right? This one has a shadow on one side of the face. This one is capturing really bright eyebrows, or really dark eyebrows, rather. And you can see this one looks like it has a black eye. 
And each of these eigenfaces is starting to capture kind of different features, both of the lighting and of the structure of all of those different human faces, right? All those people look different. And so what we're capturing here is, you know, okay, maybe one person's eyes had uh, deeper eyebrows or, or less eyebrows, or maybe one person had longer nose or less long nose. And in addition, it's capturing the shadow information. So this is a decomposition of the data uh, into these eigenfaces. And then every single person, every column vector in X is just a linear combination of these eigenfaces. And what I'm going to show you soon is that even if we threw away a bunch of the eigenfaces, even if we only kept the first few hundred rather than the first 2,400, we could do a pretty good job of approximating our, our individual people's faces just from a linear combination of a few of these eigenfaces. And that linear combination information is in this sigma v transpose. So sigma v transpose, um, each, uh, each column of that is going to be the mixture of my eigenfaces to give me person one, person two, and so on and so forth. Okay, very cool. Let's see, it uh, looks like my average face didn't get, uh, didn't get plotted, so I'm just going to plot it here. And this is what our average face looks like. So our average face is kind of this weird, uh, you know, again, ghosty looking average face. It looks maybe a little childish, um, but it's just a very nondescript uh, eigenface, right? This is the composite average of every single image in that database. Notice that the shadows uh, have been kind of eliminated because they've averaged out, and this is what's, what's remaining. Okay, um, I think what we probably should do, remember every time you plot, uh, you compute an SVD, you should plot the singular values on a log scale. So I think, uh, I think we should do that right now. So we're just gonna do semi-log Y of the diag of S, and I'm gonna plot that um, just here, okay? So these are the singular vector, sorry, singular values uh, of my data matrix. So this is uh, the number of modes I would keep R, the rank of the truncation from, and of course there are 2410 because that's how many columns of X there are. So this goes up to 2410. And this is the magnitude of the log of the singular value uh, in the diagonal sigma. Notice uh, this interesting behavior where it slow, 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 and then it drops off to machine precision 10 to the minus 16. That's basically because if you kept absolutely every single one of these eigenfaces, you would get a machine precision approximation of this data matrix X. You essentially have zero error or as close as a computer can represent, you know, 10 to the minus 16 error if you had every single singular value and singular vector. But what this is telling you is that it doesn't drop off faster than that. You actually eventually would need all of those features to get exact representation of this data matrix X, okay? Um, but in principle, you should be able to zoom in on this a bit and see what the structure is. So this is the structure if you zoom in a little bit. And what you see is kind of what we always want to see in a singular value distribution is that the first few singular values carry most of the energy. This is most of the variance in the faces. And then it tapers off and there's less and less and less and less uh, information. Now, what I will show in, in the next segment is that actually you do need um, a fair number of singular values, maybe 400 or 800, before you actually start capturing you know, the really subtle features that make one person different than another person. And we'll walk through that in the next lecture. So what we'll do is we'll use these eigenfaces to reconstruct a new face that was not in our original training library uh, to begin with. Okay, thank you.